this is uh one one effect of the uh, health crisis going on publicly. The certain health crisis is that uh, movies have been pushed back. They've also stopped production of movies. Right. All, all Disney live action stuff has been pushed back. They pushed back production of Netflix shows like uh, Stranger Things. Uh, season four has been pushed, but they they halted production on that. And this stuff might might not get started again for another maybe two months. The, the first one ahead of the curve was the James Bond movie. Uh, was supposed to come out in like a few weeks in April. That was before everyone. They're like, okay, we're gonna we're right. not taking our chance. We're moving back to November. Uh, but then everything else followed. Fast and Furious pushed back a whole year from April. Um, and I hadn't remembered something that big of a movie that got pushed back a whole year, except for uh, the Harry Potter um, part two. I think of the last movie pushed back like eight to ten months. They they pushed it way back to make sure they're originally they were both going to be in the same year like six months apart then they pushed it back another six months to make sure they were separate parts of uh, separate years that's the only thing i can remember that that was that significant that was finished at least that they weren't still working on so um what's going to happen with entertainment is going to be interesting because there, there's going to be a a, a a slower drip of entertainment on all stream mediums uh, and, and in terms of stuff coming out because things aren't going to get released in right. theaters. And theaters, Regal announced uh, yesterday, I think, or two days ago, that they were closing all the theaters in the U.S. Re and Regal's one of the biggest chains. So yeah, we got, a, we got an email from the lot, our local theater, saying that they were closed, but we could still order food to go for 15% off. Lot, I like the lot. Your food's a little pricey to begin with, but thank you for that. Yeah. They, they it's pretty do, good food, but it is it is it's, expensive. It's, a little, it, it's like a fancy, bring, bring Vani out for a nice meal there. It's a nice, I nice do. restaurant. Oh, I'm not saying. I'm, okay, good. Oh, yeah. I'm just saying. I, I do. <laughs> Fuck you, pal. I'm not taking her to McDonald's. I'm just saying. Like, it's a, I, I have taken. I've, her I've there. taken a date out there <laughs> many it's, times. It's like a fancier restaurant for our area. Yeah, Vani and I go to so few movies that when we do, we usually just go to the lot and make a night of it. There you go. We'll do a double day. I gotta get a get a gal. We'll, we'll get my best gal out. Get your best gal. Anyway, Ian, we can't bring our best gals out to see Fast and Furious Nine. Is Nine coming out? Yeah. Nine's coming out, but um. So what what Universal is doing is something, and you think Universal does? Well, they do the Tremors movies. I remember, I'm going to mention Tremors in every single podcast going forward. But I think Universal does Fast and Furious. Either way, they're not doing this. But Universal is going to make current theatrical movies available for home viewing uh, on Friday. Invisible Man, The Hunt, uh, period comedy drama Emma. Uh, those are all going to be available on demand. Um, looks like they will be. Um, available for a 48 hour period at 19.99, which honestly, if it's two people in the room, ten movies bucks, cost 20 bucks, bucks nowadays. The yeah. lot costs 20 bucks. bucks. Regal so, costs almost 20 bucks. That's not especially, bad. Especially if you order it online, they always do like a three dollar service charge. Like yeah. screw you. Like yeah. what? I should be getting a discount. So um, that's I, I, it's it's a cool uh, thing to do. It's gonna be on iTunes, Google Play, Amazon Prime, and Fandango now, which I didn't know what that was. Oh, partly on my NBC Universal. Okay, I didn't know that was a thing. So apparently, Universal had thought about doing this once before. Um, in 2011, they said they were going to do it with uh, the comedy Tower Heist, where they were going to release it to Comcast cable subscribers in two markets, Atlanta and Portland, uh, for $59.99 via video on demand. The studio abandoned those plans after theaters started to boycott the movie. But Oof. they have... They, they, well, now they can't boycott. They can't do shit any, about it anyways right now. Oh, I, I still have this garbage on the screen here. Sorry. That's all right. So... So, I love this idea. And I, 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 I thought, do too. And I, I feel like we've got to be getting to a place where this is going to become the norm. Not our norm. Um, not our norm. Well, twenty dollars is extremely reasonable. Yes. For a new movie, that, like I said, for one person you're spending twenty bucks. Forty-eight hours, you can pause the damn thing if it's on demand. You can rewind it, and you can watch it again. Yeah. And maybe you make it a thing. You invite a few friends over. You make popcorn. You make it like a little mini a mini party. Little mini. I love this idea. I, 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 I guess pissing off the movie theaters is why other people didn't do this. But you imagine if, like, instead of trudging to the theater on opening night to see Avengers, remember we saw we, we saw um, Infinity War like 11 at night. We got out like 1.30 in the morning, and I sat up close like that. My TV's fine. I got decent sound. I would have spent 20 bucks and watched it at home. Yeah. I would have done it. Now, it doesn't include trailers. Though, and I always think trailers is a good part of the movie-going experience. It is. It's a trailer. Give me a block of trailers and I'm in. Give me, just, maybe it can all be universal. Give me some trailers. I was actually kind of excited about the idea and then I looked at the movies that they're putting out and I'm like, I don't really want to see any of these. I'd maybe see Invisible Man. but 
I, th- I thought I, I it was a solid word on Invisible Man. I, I, is it on Rotten Tomatoes, Invisible Man? Let's see. Uh, top box office. The climb. Uh, it's well, they, they basically sh- human capital. That's a movie. Deerskin. The Infiltrators. Eighty-seven. Uh, well, that's ninety-one percent for Invisible Man. Oh, they, they must have did a limited showing. It made six million. Right? They must have did a small audience thing. Yeah, I know some people who went and saw it last weekend. I think. Okay, smart, well acted, and above all scary. The Invisible Man proves that sometimes. Oh the yeah, it was, it was in for... theaters February twenty eighth. Okay, so they're they're extending it out. They're, they're current, yeah, m- movies that are currently in theaters. They're putting out. Is Fast and Furious Universal? I want to say it is. It is Universal. Fast and Furious. I think they're just doing ones that have had some sort of small amount of time in or theaters. just come out. Just Not, come out, right? So for something like Fast and Furious, it's like, well, we probably will still make more money. Everyone's going to rush to see that. We got to put it in theaters versus putting out for 20 bucks right now. But I mean, like, think about how all the entertainment is going to be pushed back now by number of months. So say Stranger Things was going to come out probably in the summer. If they halt production, push that back a couple months before they start. All the entertainment is getting pushed back. And sports is entertainment as well. So all sports getting pushed back if it doesn't. The Olympics, you hope, is going to still start around the same time it's going to start, you know, versus pushing it back a little more. So anyway, the one, one, the one positive weird thing for the thing about having, I think uh, the next world cup is going to be in, uh, I think in Qatar, right? So the one positive thing about it is that they couldn't do it in the summer. So they pushed back the world cup. I think to be closer to, to, to the colder part of the year, so people wouldn't fucking die. So they actually have like extra months to play with in terms of the buildup for all the other tournaments and things. Since they pushed it back, right? So it's, it's not because traditionally it's in our summer yeah. world cup, but now I think it's going to be closer to the winter. Uh, for that so so there you go so um yeah I, i'm gonna do this in a heartbeat like if they if they m- push this out to other other um other sort of, uh, of studios if disney did this I, I would do it in a second i, I mean I, I would do it yesterday but I mean, they're probably worried about pissing off the theaters obviously but, but oh, hey yeah. if i'm disney totally though it. you're gonna boycott a uh, black widow if i do this really you're not gonna make money making black you know you're gonna do it i guess it depends on who they are like if it's universal universal doesn't have as many big tent pole pictures fast and furious is like one every two or three years but disney owns everything now you can't say no to the mouse you just couldn't sure. obviously 